All right, this last question is going to be calculator okay. We're definitely going to need our calculator. It says, how many values of x is the slope of the tangent line of h of x? So slope of the tangent line is h prime parallel. Things that have parallel slopes are equal slopes. The slope of the secant line connecting the endpoints of the interval. So h of pi over 2 minus h of negative pi over 2 all over pi over 2 minus negative pi over 2. So in thinking about this for our calculator, I have in my y equals, I have my h of x. So I'm going to find h of pi over 2. So I can just do a quick, ah, I don't want a second. Nope. Try again. We're just going to trace uh, at pi over 2. And I end up with negative 0.402. Negative 0.402 minus h of negative pi over 2. Keep second tracing. I don't want a second trace. I just want to trace. Negative pi over 2 is 0 0.04. Sorry, I cut myself. This should be negative 0.042, and then this one is minus 0.042 again. And then we have a pi over 2 minus negative pi over 2, which really is plus. So this would all be divided by pi. So if I get a more exact answer from my calculator, I can, second, quit. I'm going to have negative 0.042 minus 0 0.042 equals this divided by pi and we get negative 0 0.0267 negative 0 0.0267 so I'm looking for where or how many times is my derivative equal to negative 0 0.0267 so going back to my y equals this time I'm going to turn off my h of x function I'm going to turn on my derivative function. And again, this was in the video from Mr. Lakin. This y2 means that I am taking the derivative with respect to x of what I have listed in y1, which is my original h function, and I'm going to graph that for all x is equal to x. And I want to know where is that going to be equal to negative 0.0267. Oh, that didn't do anything. Negative 0.0267. So I'm going to graph these two things. Oi, oi, oi. This is quite the graph we got working. I'm only looking between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, which is this tick mark here and this tick mark here because of how I set my window, right? We want to be strategic mathematicians. This is coming in slowly but surely because your calculator is taking the derivative. It's still thinking, this is so fun. Okay, this is where Desmos sometimes is faster than your TI. So we wanna know where is this function equal to this, hopefully, black line that's about to come in? Hmm. We're still thinking. I'm going to change my window. I'm going to look instead just from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. We will count by pi over 4. Thinking about a good unit to count by. And I'm going to look just from negative 1 to 1 because all I really care about is where I'm equal to negative 0 0.0267. So that's a pretty small number. Also, by changing the window, hopefully my derivative will graph in a little bit faster. There we go. Already you can kind of tell, right? If y is equal to negative 0.0267, 
0267. We're going to cross once right here. And we will cross once over here when we get our symmetry coming in. Nope. All right, probably could have made my video even my window better, but one, two, three times we are crossing over that black line that got drawn in. So here, I'm going to change my window one more time and make my X min, or sorry, my Y min negative, let's say, 0.2. Okay, here's the final better graph so you can see the black line coming in. So again, the process there is you're going to find the slope of the secant line, right? All this stuff in red, find the slope of the secant line, then set that equal to your slope of the tangent line, which would be your derivative. Figure out where those two things cross. In this case, they cross one, two, three.